Pérez, é? I'm Nikki, I'm the director here at Dragon Hall. Back in about 2012, when all the um, funding cuts were biting, we decided to kind of have a strategy meeting to figure out how we could go forward, how we could start making um, Dragon Hall be sustainable in the fact that we wouldn't be reliant on fundraising as much as we had been in the past. And we started working with a lot of technology. We spoke to our, our young people, they were really interested in making their own music, in doing videos. So that kind of idea snowballed into getting a recording studio built, mezzanine floor, in Dragon Hall. And that's what kind of kicked the whole thing off. I'm Robert Hopkins, I'm the project architect uh, from Monaghan, Blythe & Hopkins Architect, Architects and uh, I, I was responsible largely to lead the project in terms of delivering what you see in the hall. The idea was to create a new structure within the, within the hall which would uh, create the formation of two rooms which would be accessed from the hall upstairs and also from the main administration office and it would overlook the hall, so there's a, you'll see there are two, there's two windows. There's the uh, window, which are, the, the long slot window, which looks into the room, and the smaller projecting bay window. The actual appearance of the mezzanine is, 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 a, is a slight nod to the timber-clad building next door, which we also designed about uh, 18 years ago. Um, but also, the timber cladding works for acoustic reasons too, in that it, um, it helps absorb sound, so you don't scatter sound throughout the room. So though aesthetically it's an, it's, it also connects with the building next door, it's also functioning acoustically as well. My name is Tim Lin, I'm a theatre consultant and sound engineer. I'm passionate about the idea that you spend your money once and you spend it wisely. So when Nicky had the plan to put the mezzanine level up, and we talked about how best to use that space and still maintain, integrate it within the main hall and also have a, a useful space for after school activities and all creative stuff that goes on as well. So the critical thing next is how you future proof um, spaces. And the first part of it for me is always infrastructure. If you've got connectivity in place, that's the major thing. In real terms it means that in the main hall downstairs there are uh, patching facility panels where audio and video and data can be plugged in and it all comes back to the upstairs control room on the MES level. So you can have somebody downstairs in the main hall with a microphone. Plug straight into that wall, it appears upstairs, you can record somebody sitting on your laptop in the control room from somebody downstairs singing. The next thing, once the builders have cleared off and you know, we've all moved away, all the music and video groups at Dragon Hall, they need to claim it. That's when it turns into a working space. I'm so excited about seeing it open and, and, and just letting everybody run wild with it for a while. And then, and then the next bit will be, where do we go to next? Which is exciting as well. You do hire it, you pay money, you DJ all you want. I think it's really cool because there's nothing else like this around here. This is the only place where you can record music for free. My name is Samara and I'm, and I'm eight and I've been I'm at Dragon Hall for one year and a few months. My name is Alex and I've been at Dragon Hall for... Hi, I'm Jay. I've been going to Dragon Hall for about seven years now. I'm really looking forward to learning all the software and everything, you know, a lot of uh, new technology and variety. I would like to try and sing and put it on a video. I want to put myself on YouTube. Yeah, let's put ourselves on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really cool having a music studio. I mean, there's a lot of more space now. It looks really cool if you look at all the interior and design. I mean, you can produce a lot of music and everything. I think it's really good.
I think the space looks tremendous. Um, I saw all the drawings, obviously I was involved all the way through from the beginning. Um, but it looks even better than I imagined it to. I think it's beautiful space. It's been, what, three years of hard work and persuasion and thanks to um, some Section 106 money and London Borough of Camden, thank you very much. We have managed to actually get this mezzanine floor built.